All right, so let's talk about layered statistics. This is a membership based software that you can use to learn more about the different statistical tests that you will conduct for your quantitative dissertation and also learn how to run the test of assumptions for each one. I did mention membership based. It is not an expensive tool. You can see here six months access is $12.99. I do believe that GCU has a discount, so you can apply that coupon and get it for even cheaper, I believe. What I want to focus on right now is the statistical test selector that's available here. This is a really great tool when you're starting to work through your 10 strategic points and building out your problem space and your design. You can come in and play with this to figure out what statistical tests you should run based on your design and your variables. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to walk you through um, something real simple and you can go in and play around with it and uh, see how it works for yourself. So the first thing that it has you do is to choose your study design. Okay, and if you need help figuring out what that is, here's a couple of different options. Okay, so they match the choices that you have here. So are you doing an association and correlation? Here's a little bit of a description and some example research questions. Are you doing prediction and relationships? Here's some description. Here's some research questions. Okay. Are you doing group differences? Those three are typically the ones uh, that are used for dissertation, so I won't get into the other two. But you get an idea of how you can get a little bit more help to understand. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do a simple correlation. So we will go to step two. How many variables do you have? Well, let's say that um, I have two variables and they're both um, continuous variables. Okay, so we'll start here. If you need to think through whether it's two or three, um, you can come down here and just kind of read through and make sure that you understand whether you've got two or three or more variables. I know that seems like a simple answer, um, but sometimes when you're thinking about things and playing around with, you know, what is your study going to be early on, um, you want to be able to understand how you break those down. So for this example, we'll just use two variables. Okay. Step three, what type of variables do you have? This is a really important step to understand. How are your variables measured? And this is where we talk about continuous variables, ordinal variables, dichotomous variables. Okay, you can read about each one of those and understand how uh, they fit and how they're measured, but you want to make sure you have a clear understanding of those before you can really select your uh, statistical test. For the sake of this example, um, both of the variables that we're going to be using are continuous. Okay, I'm going to select continue and it's going to give me your statistical test suggestions. Okay, it's recommending a Pearson's correlation or as an alternative, you could just do a linear regression and you can read and uh, see if the description of these tests makes sense. If you like the idea and it makes sense that you would do a Pearson's correlation, select go to the guide and it will take you through Pearson's correlation. What is it? How to test for it? I'm just going to pull down the menu that it can walk you through. It'll give you the background and the requirements, study designs, the flow chart of how you test the assumptions and run the data. It will give you examples. It will walk you through all the assumptions. It will identify the procedure and how you run that in SPSS, how to interpret the results. And my favorite part about this is it will give you ways that you can state the results that you're finding. Okay, and this comes in really handy when you're writing chapter four. Okay, if there's a statistically significant result or not a statistically significant result. Okay, so that is test selection, the test selector in uh, layered statistics, and uh, just a quick preview of the procedure guides that are available once you decide on a test.